Hey, I wanted to show you this. I've been going over the use of the new uh, touchscreen Sekonic 858 light meter. In case you actually damage the Lumisphere dome, unlike other light meters, uh, this one is replaceable. There's an unlocking lever over here, so it's going to show you the uh, the actual sensor. Be very careful on the world's most advanced light meter. And th there's also a uh, reflectance meter right through here, so there's actually two sensors. This one for reflectance and this one for incident. And let me zoom in a little bit and try to focus. That was a little too close. But this is it. And it's about um, five millimeters tall by about six or seven millimeters wide and that's it that is uh, the actual sensor and also this is the world's first meter that will do flash duration time absolutely fascinating so that's the reason this is replaceable is in case this is retractable right now it's retracted I would not dare touch this and not that I couldn't clean it it's actually underneath glass the sensor you can't see it right here but uh, so that's it. There's the big old most advanced light meter in the world. And there is the engine. Well, not the software and firmware engine. But there's the engine driving. This is also a centimeter. And a, uh, a great uh, meter for... Not that I will ever use it for that, for videography. I'm going to strictly use it uh, for flash, strobe, and uh, incident uh, metering. This is the incident meter. And right through here is the reflectance meter. A one degree spot meter, technically. $600 in the new Seconics. I'll be the first person in the world to do a review on this meter. So I thought I'd give you a peek underneath the hood at the engine of the new Seconic light meter. Thanks. Bye.